Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can import um, the RPC of Songbird into MetaMask and also how you can deploy smart contracts to the Songbird network. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is you have to import the RPC. So we click on MetaMask. I would also recommend creating a new tab for that because if you don't, um, whenever you click on it, it's the selection is gone. So I'm just going to... I'm just gonna um, create a new tab here. So this one here. And I'm probably gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it that way here, okay. And now we have to, uh, to copy all the information here. So I already added Songbird there, so I'm gonna remove it again. So I'm gonna remove it, I'm gonna change network and remove Songbird here. Oh. So, and now we have to add the RPC and you can do that if you scroll down there and go to custom RPC. Then you have to add the network name, which is, which is in this case Songbird. Um, then you have to add your RPC URL. You just copy that part there. And now hopefully it's still there. Yes, it's still there. Then we can copy the RPC. Then the chain ID, which is 19, I think. Yeah. So one more time, we add the chain ID here and the currency symbol, which is SGB. And then you just copy the block explorer as well. So again, that one here and copy that. And then go to save. Afterwards, you can connect. Uh, now we already connected here. So now I'm gonna just, now we can click on Songbird in selection here. So I already have Songbird on this account here, but you can now send Songbird to this address here. So there's the account address, you copy that and you can send Songbird to that. So right now I've got 0 0.113 Songbird on that account. And now we can use MetaMask with all the tools and also with uh, Remix. And we mix to prepare the simple smart contract, which is not very, which can't really do much. So we can see here, it's just a simple storage code example. So it can save a text and we are going to deploy the smart contract. So you can see here, we've got always these three layers here. So first the files, then the uh, compilation. And at last we can do the deployment. And I've got here the file. So just uh, go to compile and afterwards I go to deploy. And we can see here that the contract is a simple storage contract. And now we have to click on injected web free. If we do that, if we do that, then, um, then we can, then, oh, then we can uh, select the address. We can see here that I've got here 0 0.11 uh, songbird, which is here uh, written as ether, but it's songbird, it's fine. And then you can just click on deploy. Right now, a transaction is being prepared. And if you click here on Songbird, we can see here that it would charge me 0 0.07 Songbird as fee for deploying the smart contract. And I click on confirm. And afterwards, you can see that, so the transaction was confirmed. And I've got here my smart contract, so I can get it. So right now, it does the, the text doesn't contain anything. I can, for example, add here, hello. Well, hello from Exopeda. And if I set that, so, uh, so any change to a smart contract is a new transaction. So again, uh, a transaction is being prepared and I can do that here. And you can see that again, the transaction is confirmed. And I can see here that now the string held from XOPDEV is was persisted and is now saved in the smart contract I created here. So any of you can, could also change the smart contract since I did not add any checks for, for the access and I didn't save the owner. Um, but yeah, that's how all of it basically works. And now we can also look at the transactions in the Explorer. So I'm just going to co copy the smart contract address and go to the Explorer. So player ex uh, Songbird Explorer, it's down here. So if we just add that here. Uh, we can see that if I go to the smart contract and copy the address again and just paste it here, we can see here my smart contract I just created here. So you can see here that uh, the internal transactions, we can see this one here. And we can also see that, uh, yeah, so we can see the contract creation and also contract call. So I deployed smart contract and it set a variable. So it set uh, the name to hello from XOPDAF. And if I click on this transaction here, we can see that, uh, that something was changed. And so this is the raw input in this case. Can we see it more plain? Uh, we cannot. So are there any logs here or 
which would show that. So we can see the contract call and but we can't see it in plain text, yeah, but it's fine. So yeah, that's how it works. So how you can, like I said, add it to MetaMask, you can send Songbird to that address, and afterwards you can use Remix to deploy your own smart contracts. Um, yeah, that's how all of it works. So it's a pretty straightforward process. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.